Hi there, it's Brian again. Thanks for tuning in. Today we will be looking at this X Pro Universal Charger. This is also sold by Uniros under the brand Uniros Universal Magic Charger. And basically, these are one for all lithium ion uh, battery pack chargers. So if you've seen my previous videos, um, those chargers are universal chargers that charge uh, cylindrical or single cell uh, prism shaped uh, batteries. But this one here charges battery packs like this that you find in mobile phones or digital cameras. This one here was taken out of this uh, phone and of course this charger will also charge the battery that's being used in the camera which I am using to film this video. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll do a quick demonstration as always with a 12 volt uh, battery. Um, this one comes with both an AC adapter and a 12 volt uh, cord as well. The current input for this charger is just 500 milliamps, so the current draw is really low. One other thing this battery does is it will also charge AA and AAA NIMH and NICAT batteries, although I have not been able to find out what charging mechanism it uses and I'm not even sure whether it is just a timer based uh, charger or um, it uses DVDT or, or anything like that to charge NIMH cells. Um, I will experiment with that. Um, so if you, you're interested in using this to charge NIMH cells, then leave me a question in the comments below and I will let you know my findings. But for today, we're just going to focus on lithium battery charging. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, just to let you know, this clamshell isn't ultrasonic welded. So it comes like this, resealable. So there's no way of knowing that the unit is brand new. Um, the Uniros version costs about 15 to maybe 20 quid, but this one costs just under 10 quid. If you look at the design in the pictures, they are virtually identical with a few minor uh, design uh, differences such as the texture over here and at the bottom but apart from that it looks very similar to the Uniros one. I just noticed it also comes with a stylus here which um, is used to push the charging pins uh, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Right, let's go ahead and take the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter cord out and stick it in there. Ooh, this spring's really tight. Okay, so the red LED has illuminated, so there is power. Right, this charger is really simple to use. You plug your power in. The, the red light illuminates. The charge light will flash green if it's charging a battery, and it will stay lit green once the battery is fully charged. So, the only thing that you have to do is to use the stylus to shift the pins there or the contact points there to line up with the contact points on your battery. So as you can see here, the positive and negative terminals are clearly marked, so it will be the one on the outsides. Just ignore the middle one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 
so as you can see the contacts here are sprung and they're quite thin so we use the stylus to push them um, to line up with the contacts on the battery don't worry about the polarity of them because the circuitry will detect the polarity of the uh, contacts that you've, you've made with the battery and it will adjust things accordingly okay so not sure if you can see in the camera but it looks like I've lined them up properly now so let's go ahead and push that down so as you can see the charge light is now flashing to indicate that the charge uh, has started um, right I'm going to go ahead and, and get um, a double A battery or something just to quickly demonstrate how it works with this charger all right I've got this analog double A battery with me now this battery here is actually fully charged so this will be a good test of whether this thing uses a dumb uh, timer based charger to charge NIMH cells or whether it actually detects whether it's uh, full or uh, empty um, so let's go ahead and remove the lithium ion battery so as you would expect the green LED goes off and now Now we'll put the double A battery in. So to charge double A AA or triple A batteries you would insert them here and here. I don't think it's got individual charging channels so you've got to do them in pairs or just have one single battery. But let's um I'm gonna leave this running to see whether the charging cycle stops. If it's any form of intelligent uh, charger, it should cut off the, the charging really soon because once again this battery is fully charged. So let's see how that goes and I'll post my observations in the description below. Alright, thanks for watching.